course two. Today we're doing lesson 40. Lesson 40 is we're going to do a couple different things. We're going to talk about the sum of the angle measures of a triangle and angle, angle pa pairs. I can't talk apparently. <coughs> and this is on page 285. So what we're going to do is, first off, let's recognize that a triangle, when we did area of a triangle, we learned that a triangle, the area of a triangle is half the area of the rectangle or square that makes it up. Well, if a rectangle square has 360 degrees, four angles that equal 360 degrees, a tr or a parallelogram as well, a triangle equals exactly half of that, and half of 360 is 180 degrees. So the sum of all the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees. Knowing that information, just that little bit of information, we can do some stuff. So let's draw a right triangle. So draw a right triangle on your in your notebooks, and let's label that right tri right ah right triangle A B C. Notice that we already know what angle C is because it's it's a right triangle. Angle C is 90 degrees. Now I'll also tell you that angle B is 30 degrees. So what is the measure of angle A? Remember, a triangle is 180 degrees. We already know two of them. So what can we do to solve that? Let's take the two that we knew. No, 90 plus 30, we get 120 degrees. Now that we have 120 degrees as that, we can take 180 minus 120 to give to us 60 degrees. So the measure of angle A equals 60 degrees. And we knew that just based on the fact that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. One simple fact, and we can do all kinds of things. So that's pretty neat. Now, on a related topic, angle pairs. Knowing some basic information is going to help you do this. So draw this shape, please. I have two intersecting lines. And I'm labeling my angles of each line, one, two, three, and four. Okay? And let's, a couple definitions. Adjacent angles. Now the rule for an adjacent angles is they share a side. They share a common side. share a common side. So my adjacent angles, um, when you and also when you put them together, they total 180 degrees or a straight line. So if you if you look at your adjacent angles, you can see which ones form a straight line. So for example, one and two make a straight line, don't they? Because angles one and two, they're right next to each other, and they make a straight line. Now, two angles whose sum is 180 degrees are called supplementary angles. One is a supplement of two, and two is a supplement of one. This is just an example. So another word for equaling 180 degrees Hundred eighty degrees. One and four are also supplements because they're on the they share a common side. I mean, they share a common side, but they equal one hundred eighty degrees. If we know that one is sixty, then we can also figure out that um, two is one hundred and twenty because they're supplementary. One hundred twenty plus sixty is one eighty. Okay. So let's look at all our supplementary angles. All right, so our supplementary angles are one and four. We already talked about, so equals 180 degrees. Another pair is two and three, two and three. And the fourth pair is three and four. Knowing that two or four measures 120 tells us what one and three are. And that would be 60 degrees. Angles one and three are not adjacent. They're not next to each other, are they? Okay? 
They're called vertical angles. Vertical angles. Vertical angles. Two and four are vertical angles. Vertical angles are non-adjacent. They're not next to each other. Formed by intersecting lines. And the cool thing about vertical angles is they equal each other. Okay, so two and four are equal, one and three are equal, keep that in mind. Now the last thing we need to talk about is complementary angles. They complement each other. That's like saying, they'd say nice things to each other. Nice to get a compliment and these angles love to give compliments. Okay, complementary angles because their sum equals 90 degrees. Okay. Okay, supplement 180, complement 90. Keep that in mind. So here's a triangle. A plus B equals 90 because C is already 90. So A plus B are complementary angles. Now let's take all that information that we just did and we just covered a lot of stuff. Let's draw a triangle with lines. We're going to put it, everything we did together. We can figure out x very easily. We can figure out x because it's the inside of a triangle. So that's going to be 90 and 50 equals 140. 180 minus 140 equals 40. So x equals 40. Which also means that z equals 40. Why does z equal 40? Because they are vertical angles and they equal each other. That means I know what Y is as well because Y is a supplement of either X or Z. That's a very obtuse angle. 180 minus 40 is 140 so I know that Y is 140 degrees and all I did was use the information right there knowing the terms. So uh, guess what? You will have a quiz on this tomorrow. I will ask you to tell me what a supplementary angle is, what a complementary angle is, what an adjacent angle is, what a vertical angle is. So if you're not watching this, obviously you didn't hear it, you didn't know that you had a quiz and you fail. So, ha ha ha. Make sure you're looking at it. What a brilliant idea I just hit on. All right. Let's take that information that we've just learned. Let's put some more stuff together. Sixty degrees, forty degrees. Let's figure out every angle that we have going on here. Okay, let's figure out this angle first. Figure out that angle. That's easy to do. Sixty and forty is a hundred. Right? 60 and 40 is 100. So we can figure out the last angle pretty easily that that's 80, right? Less than 90, okay? Now on the other side, let's take a look at this. We also know that segment, let's take a look at some of this information yeah. that we have there. We have a parallelogram there, segment BD, divides it into two congruent triangles and CBD, CBD measures 40 degrees, which other angle is 40 degrees. So I'm also answering more than I needed to on that. So which other angle is 40 degrees? Okay, so what we would do is a segment that passes through a polygon to connect two vertices is a diagonal. A, di a diagonal through a polygon divides it into triangles, two congruent triangles. BD is diagonal, that's what we were told. 
rotating one of the triangles 180 degrees, a half turn, positions the triangle in the same orientation as the other triangle. So we can turn the triangle so that they are in the same position. Now, if we were to do that, if we were to do that, we could determine where the angles would be. So, if I were to reposition this triangle here, so it's turned to line up, then B is going to rotate all the way out to here, and that would tell us that which angle measures the same. That's going to mean that D is going to rotate all the way out to here. A is going to rotate out to C. That means angle A, D, B measures 40 degrees. Okay? That you can also start looking at that C and A measure 60 degrees. That 40 and 80, but this one's 80 and this one's 40. So they both equal each other because they are vertical angles. And then you can really start breaking it down. Okay? So that's it. Remember, quiz tomorrow. Supplementary, complementary, adjacent, vertical. How many degrees are in a triangle? <laughs>